Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, all our invited guests, all our friends, sponsors, and our supporters. We welcome you here on behalf of Pukar News. We're so grateful that you could make it here tonight to share this premiere of our first documentary film, which is going to be premiered here this evening. We have many friends and special guests here. Just to mention a few, we have Yasser Akhtar, Pakistan and British television drama producer, Rafaka Ali Khan, Pakistan <coughs> classical singer and Bollywood playback singer, and the Phoenix chief executive, John Rance. Of course, it couldn't be complete without Gurchad Mal being here himself. So, really want to thank Anand and Devu International for supporting this documentary. Thank you. Our dear friend, Councillor Manjula Sood, is going to officially open the premiere. She will come on stage, say a few words, and then we will watch King of the Doldrum. To me, he is a symbol of inspiration, art, culture, who has made great strides to achieve what, where he is. And through art, he has brought, tried to build bridges with all the communities, with everybody, for him, everybody is equal. And on behalf of all of those who are present here, our distinguished guests, I would like to say a big thank you for bringing this film to Leicester. Vic City, who has contributed so much Yay. to the city. Well done, Vic. Because without his support, it wouldn't have been possible. And it gives me a great uh, honor and pleasure to bring greetings from our city mayor and all my friends and all the citizens of Leicester to launch this video. And it's my great honor. And I officially launched this video. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. He's a drumming superstar and propelled Bangra music to new heights in the Western world. Oh, fantastic. He is, he is number one. I mean, the way he approaches, the way he comes in, his entry is unique. From humble beginnings in India, Gujarat Mall now plays to fans around the globe. I've always been a big fan of live music at games. I think the drums really pick up the intensity. <laughs> tell from the claps that you all enjoyed it. Yeah. So um, it was um, three years journey by Pukar News. They put it all together and I'd like to just say thank you to Pukar News for uh, producing this. Yeah. So Pukar News have done a wonderful job and I'd like to thank Ramil Bhaiya, I don't know what he's seen in me and his team for starting this documentary. So this documentary is not about Kucharan Ma. It's about a musician who dedicated this musician in the front row who was a thousand times better than me. No, no. So this documentary is about, not about me, it's about them too. Because all the musicians in the world, we struggle. The fame and the money goes to the, the main artist who is the singer. So there are a lot of good singers in the world who look after their musicians, but there are also a lot of bad singers who don't look after musicians because they work very hard and hardly get recognition. So Ramil Paji, Pakar News, thanks a million from me and all my musicians. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to say congratulations to, um, to Romel, uh, to Simon. I thought it was a really good documentary and a good effort um, to all of you. Um, just wanted to ask Romel, what is it that made you produce a documentary um, about uh, King G? Because we don't often hear or see documentaries about um, Asian artists. So what was it that made you produce this film? Musicians in our community, especially in Asian, never recognize. But knowing these days, people mention composition writer. So this man is not only his play doll, he's teach so many people, not only Punjabi, Pakistani or Bangladeshi, English, I travel with him <laughs> more than five, six countries. Sometimes it's annoying, you know, he, because every airport go to people keep stopping him. And it's, you know, not only the Punjabi or Asian, that's made me, this man is not, not making a money from the dole, that's his job, but he's also bringing people together. 
Uh, this is a question to the Chairman Viji. I just wanted to say something. It was a very touchy scene when you came, when you appeared on the screen and you talked about, you know, how you missed your children when they were small, you couldn't go to the school, the evening classes, the parent classes. How do you feel today? How do the children feel today? To achieve something, you have to lose something in life. But I think some things you can tolerate losing, but something you can't because you can't put them right. And that is your family. That love cannot be put back. But I'm happy that I did that for the art's sake. And a lot of my brothers and sisters who are musicians and singers and dancers, they so feel so proud for what I'm doing. Family sport is very, very important. But then when you're working with the other artists and they believe in and supporting you for what you're doing, then that leaves me, you know, through their blessings. I, I never get tired. You know, they said, when are you going to retire? I said, the day I'm going to retire is when I'm dead. But even when I'm dead, you know, when I'm, I'm down there, I don't want to go up there. <laughs> it's a down. But even there, I'm going to start teaching people how to dance and maybe make put a smile on their faces. You know, it's, it's a wonderful life. You know, music is, is absolutely wonderful thing because I believe in that very, very strongly. Through music, you can touch heart. Through music, you create harmony. Through music, you create love, affection, and happiness. Oh, okay, we have another question. Hello, yes. Um, this film, is, um, this documentary shows music. It's, it's, it's wonderful and it's hard to keep still while that's going on. And uh, it's part of a whole lot of documentaries. I'd ask, like to ask John and Simon particularly, how, how you can disseminate such um, a moving film that actually shows how music can bring people together. Well, I was very pleased to get involved in this. It was, um, it's been about three years, hasn't it, since we first mooted the idea when I was, when I was still freelance. But, um, yeah, it's, it's something that we had to try and fit into half an hour, which is, which is sometimes difficult for a whole life, really. But because um, I work in news day to day, we have to fix things into about a minute and a half sometimes. So I suppose that helps sometimes. But, um, yeah, when I first met him, I thought, well, here's a guy that lacks confidence. <laughs> So it was great to meet King G. And, uh, yeah, you certainly stand out in a crowd, don't you? Yeah, I always walk around with my night suit on. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, uh, we worked hard to get the script uh, right so that we could fit it in half an hour. And uh, there's always something you think, oh, I'd like to fit that in or, or use that shot or use that answer. But we couldn't fit everything in. But hopefully uh, did the best we can in half an hour. So that's what led to the documentary. I'm honoured to have this as a premiere on day five of Community Media Week and Doc Film Festival. It's people like this, really, that this man, to me, since I've met him back in Eve FM days, we've known each other a long time, and we haven't really worked together much apart And this. I'd say this is probably the first big thing we've done together. Ramal proved to me that you can be mainstream media and know people from the mainstream media, but not be treated differently as a citizen's journalist or someone who's trying to capture their community. But when it comes to professionalism, it's about being able to take stories like this, show and sh show people that... It's about humble roots and humble beginnings and that community doesn't have to mean poor quality. And also things that are based locally don't necessarily have not to have an international angle. And I think that film there really is a, is a beacon and a role model. It's been a great opportunity to be involved in it and to share it with so many people. And this is our best crowd. And it's all down to this man and the quality of the film that he's done. I'd like you to give him a round of applause, please. I'd like to invite to Farkad, please come on stage. Thank you very much for inviting me here. Such a big honor, privilege for me. Great artist, not only from India, from all over the world. A big applause for me. Sorry for this. And uh, for me is, uh, is because I belong to a classical musical family. Or since we are in the classical music, which uh, from Court of Akbar, like 500 years back, my father, Ustad Nazakat Ali Khan and Salamat Ali Khan. And uh, I understand the school of music, which is you build, which is it's not easy. So you are the gharana, you school of thought of Dhol. So I really proud feel to be standing next to you. Thank you.
you, everyone. You have made this evening very special for all of us. I'd like to just thank Phoenix um, here for hosting this premiere for us and uh, John Costa for supporting us, um, for Car News, the whole team, and every single one of you who've been here. Thank you. And happy Diwali for next week. Have a safe journey. Good night. And happy Diwali. And big clap for the play. The play, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. can I say amazingly very, very shocking and very, very entertaining and uh, um, uh, speechless this is the documentary which I think we have to promote throughout the world in different countries and different cultures and different religion and this sort of thing we have to be promoting across where the community can connect to each other not through the language not through the faith not through the culture but through the music, it's really such a wonderful documentary. I really have enjoyed, never have watched such a good documentary anywhere. Very good, very good. He's a very talented uh, person, very talented. Yes, great. I enjoyed it really. Fantastic event. Um, for me, uh, King G uh, is now a worldwide phenomenon. Uh, I, I, I'd never heard of King G before tonight and I, I hadn't even heard of the doll and to see him play that and the energy uh, and the passion and bringing communities together was fantastic and uh, I feel very honoured to have been invited here tonight. Really, really good, I enjoyed it. I thought that the Bukhar team have done a fantastic job. It really captured what King G was all about and um, it, the highlight was the whole film. I can't actually pick out one particular thing. It was really good, so well done. Nobody's ever taken the time out and put hard work into an Asian musician. And I think you guys have done that and well done. And you've picked the right guy. You know, he is a symbol of Asian musicianship. You know, he's the man. How would you rate it out of 10? 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. 12 out of 10. Definitely. 10 out of 10. 9.9 .9 out of 10. And the only reason I didn't give it a 10, I'd like to see the second sequel. Yeah.